All right, well, it was clean. It's not anymore. Um, my name is Jamie, and welcome to my side of the room. Um, somebody, I think in the comments, posed a question, and I don't know the answer to it, and I could Google it, but what fun is that? So this is going to be an experiment. This could be very short-lived, because it might not work at all, or could be a game changer. I don't know. Somebody asked, can you water marble gel polish? Now, my head is saying no, but I don't honestly know the answer to this. It might work beautifully. It probably doesn't, but it might. So, let me find some space, and let's do what might be the world's shortest experiment. All right, I spun these polishes. These are um, fairly old. I don't know. I don't even think gel polish drips like normal polish does. I don't think this is going to work at all. Let's give it a whirl. All right. I just grabbed a bunch of gelish polishes because that was what I was able to reach. Um, this is The Camera Loves Me. This is Feeling My... Feeling... Wow, can't read. Feeling Swimsicle. This is One Tough Princess. And this is Up in the Blue. Um, and these came as two-piece sets, so I have the Morgan Taylor polish that matches these in regular polish. Oh, that would be interesting. I should find those four polishes, and we should do two sticks, one with the gels and one regular. I have to plug in the lamp, but I'm so convinced this isn't going to work that I'm like, I'll plug it in if it works. No, I'm going to plug it in, and I'm going to grab those other four polishes, and we're going to try a dual test here. Okay, we're going to start with the regular polish, because I know that works. Well, it should. <laughs> also, we were watching a video, and uh, somebody did something. They gave a tip, and both Ethan and I went, Oh, why did anybody ever say that? So I'm going to say it. So, water marble. So you need to drop it in. Um, room temperature, filtered water. So I just... Opened up a bottle of water, put some in my cup, and you just alternate colors. Some polishes will water marble, others won't, and sometimes the only way to find out is to do it. These look like they're going to be really good. I think I'll do like 12 drops to... Just be consistent with both. And then you're going to use a either a wooden stick or a dotting tool to do your design. So what I was told was anchor it to the side. And then when you pull, it doesn't come away. Find the spot you want to use, let Karen do some barking, and then get all of this off the surface before you bring that nail back up. Because otherwise it's all going to goop onto the nail, like that. So that water marbled. Okay. We know that that does that. Now let's try. Well, let's clean this off. And then we're going to try <laughs> the gel equivalents. 
And again, one last time, because I've said it 43 times, and I'll probably be wrong, but I don't think gels are going to water marble. But they could. I've tested all these. They do drip. And when you see one of one of the four, I can't remember which one, the brush is so screwed up. But we didn't toss it because it's gel polish, and you can use, well, you can use any brush. It didn't affect the polish. It's just the brush is all goofy. Okay, let's give this a try. That's the one that's all screwed up. Get back in the bottle. All right, it's spreading. Oop, that one didn't. Nail right in there. It's eight. These are coming out much paler than the other ones, but who knows? All right, here's the test to see if this works. All right, anchor onto the sides. And let's try this. Okay, we're not quite getting a good shape there. We have something. All right, let's see what we get. And because this isn't drying on top, it's not giving me a good grab. I can't get it all at once. But I hope this is working. Came up very, very faint. I'm going to cure that real quick. Oh, shit. These are open. <laughs> Close these. Cleanup is easier. So this doesn't uh, doesn't harden. Let's toss that. Okay. Just gonna dress this off. Okay. Let's see what we got. Is that dry? It is sticky. I don't know if it's sticky because it's wet. Oh, it's definitely wet. Okay. Okay, on the left is the gel polish, on the right is regular polish. It did water marble. It did not water marble well. Interesting. I didn't, honestly, I didn't think it was, I, like I said 18 times, I didn't think it was going to water marble at all. But it did. But I would definitely pick this one over this one if I were doing a manicure. But there you go. We answered that question. Yes, but not well. And maybe other polishes or maybe other designs or colors would work better. But 
That's interesting. All right, while I have the gel polishes out, Ethan from Orlando just asked me, what about a stamping plate? Does the gel polish work with that? So, let's try it. First, we need a base color. And I'm just going to use the gel just because it's faster. All right, I want to say yes, this works, but I'm not 100% sure. So, let's try. I feel like you need to scrape this well. awfully light. Um, let's see if I can do a darker color. Let's go with this. the stick. Where'd it go? There it is. Actually, let's put that down. Yeah, you can. Let me, uh, let me cure that. All right, I'm going to do the same thing with, um, the corresponding, um, regular polishes. I'm also, I also painted a white stick. I'm going to try doing the gel polish, a dark gel polish over the white, just to give us better um, contrasting colors, just to see the difference. All right. It was dry, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay. Let's take this. That, that, and that. Okay, gel on the right, regular polish on the left, same color. Two totally different things, don't they? Interesting. All right, let's try the gel on top of the white. I'm going to go with blue. I think I'm going to go with blue. Let's use, let's use this one. Probably more than I needed. That came out really smudgy at the end. That's the problem with gel. Unless you get it off of everything. Can I redo that? I didn't top coat the white. I got it off. Okay. Let's change colors. Yep. 
that definitely works. But look at all the little dots. Can you see them? That's weird. Why are the little dots? Interesting. I don't know why there's little dots. Huh. Let me bake it. Okay, so here's what I've learned. You can stamp with gel polishes. I'm not that good at it. And given a choice between gel and regular polishes, I guess it depends on what you're looking for. This regular one came out really dark. So you can actually see the design on the gel one better, but... interesting okay those were my experiments with gel i'm not sure that that told me anything other than you can water marble and you can stamp with them i think it would take some more practice to get really good at it i actually kind of like that white one with the little dots that formed it's actually kind of cool looking since I got this out, I'm going to try something. Let's find out if Mooncat water marbles. <clears throat> and we need a little bit of spread here, folks. Come on. Oops. Okay. Tacking it to the edge. Oh no! Look up, look up. Yeah, no. That did not work. Why did it do that? Did this bring. No. It did not work. Wow, that was an epic fail. Let's try that again. All right, let's try that again. Well, it comes up thick. Linda, we stop walking under the desk. I don't think it's going to work. It seems to have stopped again. Linda! Ugh. She bumped me. No, I'm really not 
not getting this to work. Nope. <clears throat> Very, very pale. Very, very not, not a good water marble at all. All right. Maybe these colors are just too light. Maybe it's the formula that doesn't work. I don't know. I just figured since I had them out and I had the water out, I would test it. But I love the colors. So even if they don't water marble, it doesn't really matter. It's not like I water marble all that often. But it was a great collection. I mean, slight shame that he gave it to me on December 9th. I'm going to have nothing left to open at Christmas. He also got me a, a mini waffle maker. Then went out and bought waffle mix. We haven't done that yet, but we will. All right. There they are. They're gorgeous. I'm very happy with these. I can't wait to use these. Awesome. Thanks, Ethan.